Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with iHealth2, and we're visiting with Dr. Hyla Cass, who wrote Eight Weeks to Vibrant Health. Dr. Cass, I come to you, and you're a practicing psychiatrist, mm -hmm. and I'm feeling depressed, I can't sleep. What approach would you suggest to me? I'm glad you asked this, because most people will go to their general physician, or even a psychiatrist, and they'll immediately be given a prescription. They have their 15-minute visit, they get their prescription and that's it. And that brings it with it a lot of side effects. And it's not really dealing with the problem at its root cause. My job is really, the way I see it, is to go to root cause and to treat as safely and as naturally as possible. So I work with the body's chemistry to make the changes that will really make a difference and really change your brain, really change the brain chemistry rather than just covering over symptoms. So the first thing I do is ask about your diet. Are you eating are you eating breakfast? Are you eating three meals a day? Are you getting enough protein? Are you getting enough of good carbs? And please eliminate the bad carbs because your blood sugar is going to be all over the place if you don't eat a regular good diet with minimal, minimal sugar, minimal white flour, okay. and uh, enough of the good essential fatty acids. Uh, all of those are and going to enhance your mood and your brain power. So these are my, this is my initial okay. uh, advice. So in you terms ask of diet, diet. Right. right. In addition, in addition, I will give specific supplements. If someone is particularly having trouble sleeping, I'm going to look at. They likely have a deficiency in a neurotransmitter, a chemical messenger in the brain called serotonin. Okay. And people have heard of serotonin because that's what the SSRIs, the um, serotonin reuptake inhibitor, antidepressants address. Right. The okay. um, Celexa, Lexapro, Prozac, Zoloft. And what I will do is prescribe 5-HTP, 5-hydroxytryptophan, and that will enhance your serotonin. And I would give you maybe 100, 200 milligrams at bedtime. And uh, besides that, there's some other products that I really like a lot. Uh, St. John's Wort, that was my first book, St. John's Wort, Nature's Blues Buster. Oh, that's right, yes. And St. John's Wort, even though it's gotten some kind of spotty... Um, negative reports, it still is an excellent product. There's very, very, very good research indicating that it works, and I've given it to many patients. It's, it's not, by the way, it's not a sleep medication. I give it, I tell people to take it in the morning, take uh, 900 milligrams in the morning or 300 milligrams three times a day, but uh, it's not a bedtime sedative, but it helps to regulate your sleep cycle. So you take St. John's Wort, uh, or you can take 5-HTP at bedtime. Some other very useful uh, amino acids are tyrosine or phenylalanine because that'll raise mm. the dopamine and norepinephrine, which is what some of the other antidepressants address. So we have many, many things in our toolkit. And in Natural Highs, I really address this in far more detail. Well, very good, Dr. Cass. Thank you for that information. Mm -hmm. I'm Raina Morgan with iHealth2. Thank you very much.